Hello everyone, welcome back to JP Study Corner. In this video, we are going to see Class 8 Science Chapter 12 Friction Question Answers and Extra Questions. Let's see filling the blanks. Question number A. Friction opposes the dash between the surfaces in contact with each other. So the answer is motion between the surface. Question number B. Friction depends on the dash of surface. So answer is nature. Yes. As we know, uh, the rough surface increase the friction and smooth surface decrease the friction. Question number C. Friction produces dash. So friction produces heat. Question number D. Sprinkling of powder on the carom board dash the friction. So when we apply or sprinkle powder on the carom board, the carom board gets a smooth surface. So it reduces the friction. Question number C. Sliding friction is dash than the static friction. So sliding friction is lesser than the static friction. Let's see question number 2. Four children were asked to arrange forces due to rolling static and sliding frictions in a decreasing order. Their arrangements are given below. Choose the correct arrangement. As we already know static friction has high friction followed by that sliding friction then next is rolling friction. So the correct answer is option C static sliding and rolling. Question number 3. Alida runs her toy car on a dry marble floor, wet marble floor, newspaper and towel spread on the floor. The force of friction acting on the car on different surfaces in increasing order will be. Here we have to arrange in an increasing order. So we have to arrange from uh, less friction to high friction. So as we know wet marble floor has very less friction. Then followed by that marble dry marble floor. Then next is newspaper and towel. So the right option is option A. Then question number 4. Suppose your writing desk is tilted a little. A book kept on it starts sliding down. Show the direction of frictional force acting on it. So the based on the question, uh, the desk is tilted a little. So here the sliding friction is applied. What is the meaning of sliding friction? When one object is sliding on another object. So the right answer, when a book placed on the tilted writing desk, a book moves downwards. And the direction of the frictional force acting between the book and the surface of the desk is upwards. Question number 5. You spill a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally. Would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor? Why? So the answer is, when a soap water spilled on the floor, the soap layer makes the floor very smooth and the friction exerted by the floor is reduced. Hence, the feet will not get proper grip and make us difficult to walk. Question number 6. Explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes. Answer. Sportsmen use shoes with spikes to increase the force of friction between shoes and the ground. It may give them proper grip while running. Question number 7. Iqbal has to push a lighter box and Seema has to push a similar heavier box on the same floor. Who will have to apply a larger force and why? Answer. A heavy object produces more friction as it is pressed hard against the opposite surface. So, Seema will have to apply a large force. Yes, if an object exerted more friction means it will not move easily. So, we have to apply more force to move that object. So, next is question number 8. Explain why sliding friction is less than static friction. So, we already know static friction applied when two surfaces are not in motion. So static friction helps to keep the object rest. But sliding friction means what? Yes, sliding friction applied when an object moving on the sliding surface. So the answer, sliding friction is less than static friction. Because when objects are moving, the surfaces do not get enough time to interlock each other. Therefore, less force is required to overcome this interlocking. So next question. Give example to show that friction is both a friend and foe. So here friend means we have to write advantages and foe means we have to write the disadvantages. First we will see the advantages. First one, friction between our foot and the ground help us to walk, run and play. Next one, friction between the tip of the pen and the paper helps to write. Third one, brakes in vehicles work due to friction. So these are all advantages. Next is disadvantages. 
So first one, friction can make things overheat and get damaged. Yes, we already know friction produces heat on object. So it will get easily damaged. Second one, it causes things like tires and brake pads to wear out faster. Third one, due to friction, noise also produced in machine. So these are all disadvantages. So next is question number 10. Explain why objects moving in fluid must have special shifts. So first we should know what is mean by fluid friction. When an object moving on the fluid, there is one force opposes the motion of that object is known as fluid friction. So the friction exerted by fluid is called drag. Therefore, objects moving in fluid has given special streamlined shape to overcome this friction. So what are the examples of streamlined shape like fish? boat, aeroplane, birds, etc. Let's see some important extra questions and answers. First one, why does a boy fall down when he steps on a banana peel? So answer, a boy fall down when he steps on a banana peel because the peel create a very slippery surface. The friction between his shoe and the peel is reduced. Without enough friction, he missed the balance and fell down. Question number two, why do luggage bags come with wheel? So luggage bags come with wheels so that it can be carried easily from one place to another. The roller wheels minimize the friction between the surface and the luggage bag to be pulled because rolling friction is less than sliding friction. Question number three, why it is hard to walk on ice with the flat shoes? So answer, ice is very hard and smooth. It is difficult to walk on snow and ice with the flat shoes because the friction between the flat shoes and the ice is very low. So this makes us lose balance and fall. Question number four. A smooth ice surface is preferred for ice skating. Why? Answer. A smooth ice surface is preferred for ice skating because it reduces friction between the skate blade and the ice. So it allowing skaters to glide more easily and maintain better control. So next question. So what are the four methods to increase friction between two surfaces? So answer. First one, increase the surface roughness. Yes, the rough surface provide more friction than smooth surface. Second one, the sole of footwear are grooved to increase friction. So the grooved surface given more friction. Then the tires of cars and buses are grooved on their surfaces to increase friction. So next is sand or gravel are spread on a slippery ground to increase friction. The next is the handle covers of two wheelers are made of threaded rubber to provide better grip of the handle. So these are the best methods to increase the friction. Hope this video very useful for you. If you feel the same, please like and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.